Hello cookbook friends. Today we're going to be looking at Jamie Oliver's one. It's his simple one pan wonders cookbook. So a lot of us are super busy. School's going to be in session again. So sometimes we just want easy weekday meals and one pan, one sheet makes it easy for cleaning and cooking. So here we get an awesome table of contents and a sweet picture here. We go through frying pan pasta, veggie delights, chicken, eggs, burger, toasties, fabulous fish, meat, batch cooking, and even desserts. So I'm excited. Here we go. One love, Jamie Oliver. So balsamic pepper pasta. I like that pasta is like the first chapter. Why go further? <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, so here we go. This says you need a frying pan. And here's our list of ingredients. Very clear, like where the ingredients are. And then no explanation of this recipe whatsoever and then we just have a breakdown of this dish i kind of like it it's just one of those cookbooks that you just pull you flip and you're like does that sound good yes and then you cook it so you see here all of our ingredients are kind of our whole the whole ingredient is listed right here in uh photo form and then we have here the actual description it's kind of cool i like what they've done here and then i think every recipe does have a photo attached to it plus our I mean it just shows you how little simple ingredients you need to make an awesome one pa pan or pot dish so this is a sweet pepper pesto pasta with garlic parmesan oregano crushed smoked almonds easy this is broccolini and anchovy pasta a whole bunch of different options tuna sweet corn tagliatelle Sweet red onion salad. Ooh, this sounds pretty good. And it looks really filling. Buddy's pasta bake, broccoli cheesy sauce, and garlic bread crispy bits. Well, I can't say no to that. That sounds pretty tasty. Here we go. We have mushroom and tofu noodles here. Everything looks very easy. So it does say how much it serves. It serves two total of 41 minutes and again pretty easy there's also options here for like this one says go vegan i wonder if there's like go gluten free or go vegetarian this is a hasselback eggplant pie what okay crispy layered potatoes chopped tomato watercress and horseradish salad i said horseradish sorry <laughs> uh here we go poached chicken soup this serves six. We even have here on the very bottom, if you are looking for, if you need dietary advice, nutritional stuff on the bottom, this is very helpful as well. But again, make sure to go to your doctor, make sure things are safe. Sweet and sour roast chicken. That looks pretty scrumptious. This says easy swaps. So it says any sort of tasty flavored nut will work with this recipe. Think honey roasted cashews, smoked almonds, or even wasabi peas. So if you got specific nut allergies, you can sw switch it out if you'd like. Here we have honey roast chicken. Super nice. Very beautiful. Paprika roast chicken. Moving forward. Tasty veggie tortilla with curly broc or parsley, crunchy apple, and black olive tempanade what that sounds very different mushroom shakshuka with chorizo creamy beans sweet tomatoes tangy feta and parsley I, that sounds brilliant uh, eggplant shakshuka a lot of different shakshukas spaghetti frittata burgers and toasties this is a loaded beef burger Again, one pot, one pan. So I like that. We have tuna and bean. I'm not sure what that means. Uh, these are, oh, speedy folded flatbreads. So there's so many different flavors that you can put in this. We have a quick quesadilla. I think this might be a foil bake. So, oh, it's a salmon in a bag. We have beet and potato with salmon in a bag, spinach and gnocchi. I've never thought about putting gnocchi in that. That's actually a great idea. Here we have some more photos of Jamie Oliver. Vibrant fish tacos. 
appreciating meat. 50-50 meatballs, pork, borlotti beans, rosemary, ricotta, and parmesan. Sausage kebabs. Oh, man. Beef short ribs. So good. Roast beef. I have to say, I'm not a huge roast beef fan, but if may, I might change my mind. We have an easy lamb hot pot. Giant mad madras spiced meatballs. That looks pretty tasty. Let's look at a few more savory dishes and then we'll move on to, to some desserts. We have chickpea and squash casserole. Oh, never mind. We're going straight into desserts. My bad. Baked lemon cheesecake. Well, I am ready. This serves 12. It looks really good. And there's not a whole lot of ingredients. It looks so good. Okay. We have a squadgy croissant lo loaf i don't think anything should be called squadgy especially if it's like a dessert that sounds scary we have a honey orange tray cake and that's good that looks beautiful cherry rice pudding that looks beautiful too iced buns rainbow fruit drizzle icing Ooh. and then one more dessert here we have blondie cake, white chocolate, peanut butter, and jam. So as you can see, I mean, it's Jamie Oliver. It's pretty, I'm very approachable. I like what he's done, how he's divided this up. There's a photo for every recipe, including like photos of the actual ingredients. That's pretty cool. So if you are looking for some one pot, one pan cookbooks that aren't this one, check out our other playlist. We have a whole bunch of other cookbooks. And join us on our socials at Cookbook Divas. We'd love to see you there. And make sure to subscribe, follow, let us know what cookbook you want us to look through next time. Thanks so much for your support. We'll see you next time.